and welcome back to Music Free Gaming. I hope you're having a fabulous day, and it is a great day to be back on stream. I am definitely looking forward to all the fun and excitement and definite adventures that are going to happen today. Um, yeah. Oh, a uh, quick pseudo announcement. So, sorry, as my back itches. Streams today. Obviously, I'm streaming right now. Yay! Uh, Thursday, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Yay! Saturday, I may not stream. Okay, I'm I'm up in the air about that at the moment. Follow the Discord, you know, because that's where I announce all of that fun stuff. Um, but I've got some. I've got to. I've got to make a a trip on Friday, and I don't know how I'm going to be feeling come Saturday morning. So. Ah, it's a day trip, it's a good thing, and it'd be nice if my back didn't itch, but, so that's it. So, just a heads up, but that's not why we're here. Nobody cares about the announcements. Let's get into the game. Ah, yes, the joys of being in the, the uh, ancient city. Down in the deep dark. All right, so step one. So there's a bunch of stuff here I want to do, but you know what? It is dark here. I've turned off the gamma overlay and you can see how dark it is. And I think what I need to do is add some color. So I'm gonna take a quick adventure out. And yes, I do now suddenly have diamond armor because I decided to burn some diamonds on it. Uh, because adventures require armor. But no, I'm heading back to the overworld, or at least the, the surface world, and I gotta see if I could find some cherries, which would be cool, some bamboo, which would be amazing, and some kelp, and then we'll see what else we can find, because uh, there's lots of good stuff out there. All right. So, that out of the way, let's head over here. And I'm going to head up to the surface around my village because I think that's going to, well, one, it's the only way I have to get to the surface at the moment. So we'll go with that. All right. To the surface we go. <sighs> oh, did I think about sleeping? I did not. Cool. I have a bed on me, so this will be great. No, and I think I have a general idea which direction I need to go. But I'm going to double check once we get there because I I admit, I, man, I admit my back itches and it sucks. Now, I admit, I've taken a look at Chunk Base to uh, kind of get an idea of what's around. So I think I know where I need to go, but we're going to, we're going to get there, well, uh, on foot, unfortunately. <sighs> okay, hang on a sec. Let me just double check where I am going because of, you know, reasons. Looks like I need to go. What is that? Positive X. Cool. Oh, positive X. And I should probably see what other directions are involved in that, too. Positive X and sort of negative Z ish. Okay. Cool. I think I have an idea where I'm going. It's always nice to have an idea. All right. Unfortunately, it's raining. The rain should stop here in a moment. Do I still? I do still have a boat here. Aha! Cool. So, since I know where I want to go, positive X should be this way. All right. I think. Let me just be sure, because now I'm paranoid. Did I really? Yeah. So roughly. Yeah, positive X. We got a ways to go here, y'all. But I think we'll be okay. So oops, let's minimize this. The good news is I actually spent some, uh, some emeralds and bought uh, golden carrots. So that'll be helpful. And let's see, negative Z. So if I 
lean that way. It's not going to be that big a deal. I could have brought my dogs with me, but I'm not sure they're going to appreciate where I'm going. So, because if I've read this map correctly, there's going to be a little bit of an ocean in between. And as fun as that sounds, uh, the dogs aren't particularly thrilled with it, so... All right, I love taiga biomes. Oh, they're so cool. I know they're not everybody's favorites, but they are they're mine. Of course, part of that's probably because I grew up in the Rockies, the Rocky Mountains here of Colorado, and that's a little bit of a ways down. Okay. And I just the the forests and the mountains that up here, they're there are pine forests and there are spruce forests and oh I love it so all right so let's I'm gonna grab a couple of these mushrooms just because okay there are a lot of spiders in there nice and away we go ah oh, so how you doing I had fun recording the podcast over the weekend. That'll drop on Wednesday. Of course, it's already up at musicfreegaming.com for uh, for uh, members over there. That is a deep... Is it, this claims to be river. Okay. Guess it makes sense. It's just really deep. All right, cool. So, it'd be nice to... Get some squid, but the squid can wait. Oh yeah, lots of lava pouring out here. That's amusing. Anyway. <laughs> Let's see now. Am I? I have concerns. All right, hang on. Let me just double check. Make sure I'm actually looking at the right map. Um, so where am I? About 400 and minus 600. 400 minus 600. Okay. Cool. I think I'm just in a deep river is what it is. All right. Let's get out of the boat and continue overland. Okay, sure. That that's how that's gonna work. Absolutely. That's a that's a little bit of a steep river bank right there. Ah, but there's the ocean I was looking for. Alright. Well, that's amusing. Alright, so Getting in and out of this is going to be an issue. But first, now that I've hit the ocean, this is one of the things I need is kelp. Because I'm, I've got a couple of places where I need bubble vaders. Okay. And I suppose I should probably breathe. And those are easier to make if you have kelp. <laughs> so, yeah. So let's gather this and then we'll head out and see what other adventures await. Boat. Yeah, let's gather up a bunch of this kelp because, as I said, I'm going to need it. One of the things I need to do is build a uh, build a bubble vader, I think, to the surface above my ancient city. All right, cool. Yeah, stack in a little more. Awesome. Okay. A shipwreck, there's drowned madness. I think we'll avoid the drowned madness. I don't have anything that's going to really help me underwater, so yeah, like to avoid that mess. 
Okay, so we'll just uh, keep on keeping on here. Some bees over there, lovely. All right, now I fully expect to be rowing here for a hot minute. But, uh, you know, at least the squid are happy. Yeah, definitely some underwater goodness. You know, this ocean doesn't look nearly this big on the map. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We'll, uh, we'll make it. Now... What would be cool would be to set up a nether portal up here and do the whole portal through the nether nonsense. But my nether is nowhere near prepped and ready for that sort of thing. So I really would want to get up on the nether roof if I was if I were to do that. And I'm just not there. Oh, well, <laughs> those those drowned are victims of uh, global warming, I suppose. I don't want to mess with them, though. We'll, we'll go around. I don't have a brush, so, you know. No, I don't want to mess with them. They're fine. I'm just passing through, y'all. We're good. All right, so I've got some kelp. I already have birch and oak trees. Uh, so what I'm going to be looking for, I'm looking for a couple things. I'm looking to see if I can find a bamboo jungle. I'm looking for a cherry grove, which would be lovely. Um, you know, maybe I'll come over here. Let's, uh, I'd also like to find a desert with some cactus, but I think that's going to be a little ways off. Aha! Ah, what light through yonder window breaks? Tis a cherry grove, and it is blazingly pink. Ah, let's go gather up some cherry goodness. All right. Yay, cherry goodness. I think I should uh, take that off the screen. That would be great. Yep. Now, as I said, I don't particularly... I guess I don't need a huge amount of this. But I do want to get some. Definitely get some of these. Okay. All right. Well, let's get some cherry wood. Yeah, and it's not like I'm going to be building Barbie houses or anything, but with as dark as the ancient city is, right, that whole area underground, I definitely think I need to get a little bit of, uh, ooh, it's a, it's a bit of a drop there. <clears throat> I need to be adding some color, right? It's, it's just, if I build everything, like I might on the surface out of uh, deep slate and stuff, it's just going to get lost in the dark no matter how much I light it up. And that's just going to be a annoying. So I want to get some pink. Um, I want to like to get some green. You know, blue I could eventually get from clerics, right? I can get uh, lapis. And I've got a little bit already, but... I'm going to need green, uh, and that's going to be an issue. Okay, good news is got plenty of these. Let's let's pick up some more of the what are these pink petals? Yeah, I think that'll look good. Just ooh, sunflowers. Nice. So we've got some. Cherry, and it looks like we've got ourselves some sunflowers here, which is good because I need a good source of yellow dye, which I didn't have. Oh, this is perfect. It looks like the sun is setting. I'll we'll keep an eye on that. And we have every cow in the world and some acacia. Oh, we have hit the jackpot over here. 
All right, so I'm going to uh, sleep and let's go hunt down some more uh, tree types and stuff. All right, where's my bed? Bed, bed, bed. All right, I should keep my coordinates up. At least while I'm doing this. Now, the other thing I would like to do is bring some chickens home, but that's not going to happen, so. That's uh, a little bit annoying, but hey, so we've got the grove. Um... So, I don't remember if I've got... Oh, yes, I've got pumpkins. We're good. Pumpkins are fine. The good news is, so this is a savanna, so we're, we're talking warm biome, which means I, sh I may be able to find um, jungle and or desert. Though I fully expect those things are going to be a little bit out of the way. It's oak. It's annoying. All right. It's fine. Just need to be sure to pick up the acacia saplings. Okay. So I don't particularly need the wood, but the saplings would be helpful. Also, let's grab a little sand. Until I've got my villagers trained up, my librarians... I don't have a good way of getting glass. So let's grab a stack of sand just while we're out here. Okay, so I've got sugar. That's not an issue. Um, I don't have... I said I don't have cactus. Which is... I'm mean, okay. I just need to find some. Assuming I can find a desert. One of the other things I'd like to get, uh, but it's not going to happen this trip, is frogs. Because um, I just don't have the slime to breed them up and stuff. But this being in the ancient city, right, it's underground. Everything is dark. And if any of you have done cave builds and stuff like that, you know, darkness is an issue. And I want to light it up. I want it bright. I want it bright and cheerful, right? And that's that's going to take some time and some doing. But you can't get bright without lights. So, yeah, that's definitely something I'm going to have to uh, deal with. And I said I would love to bring these chickens home, but it's just, it's just going to be too far. Fortunately, maybe chickens will spawn around me at, up on the surface somewhere, and I can I can get them. But what's over here? All right, well, it looks like we've got a ruined portal down here. Looks like just like a regular forest. Um, okay. The nice thing about having an underwater portal. You don't have to worry about lava, but I do have to worry about... Cool. Let's see if I can get over here and get... Okay, come on. I would like to... Get this. That would be awesome. Thank you. And, aha! That's what I'm looking for. Uh, not great, but I'll take it anyway. Okay. Let's take a deep breath, and then head to the surface and... Ow. Okay. Where's my boat? There's my boat. All right. I like gold. Gold is good. Now, the one downside of exploring like this is if... Ooh. Jungle. Is if I upgrade um, to 1.21... This area will all have been rendered in, and so trial chambers and things like that won't be here, but. Okay. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Nice. And we've got ourselves a nice little jungle here. Now, what would be cool 
I, I don't have Silk Touch on me. I've got Fortune on my pickaxe. It'd be nice to get some turtle eggs, but that can wait. But I've got two victories here. I've got some bamboo. And it looks like there's a jungle temple over there. So let's go ahead and grab what I need and let's see what's in the temple. Okay. Oh, this is going to be great. I've got plans for bamboo. Also, let's get the jungle wood too. Yeah, the... So the thing I'd like to do is, uh, or one of the things I'd like to do is use the surface above my city for my tree farm. Okay, I'm just going to break in through here. Where's my torches? There we go. Okay, this area obviously is going to be well enough lit. I don't have a shield, which is annoying. Okay. Now. Yeah. Yep. We were there. Okay. Yep. I got some gold, which is great, but not super exciting. Um great. Uh Okay, I mean the string would be good too, but Heck, dispensers are always good, too, but let's take a look. I forgot where I forgot where it was. There's the other treasure room. Maybe it was yeah, back here. Some more bamboo, some bones, a saddle. Which I think I've got some saddles at home, but... Of course, the sticky pistons are kind of nice, too. So, we'll take those. Um, but no armor trim in this one, huh? Okay. That's it, huh? Yeah, some of these are supposed to have armor trims and stuff in them, but I think... Yeah, I think we're not gonna have any this time all right well that's fine I guess okay all right well on the plus side I did get what I needed I've got the bamboo I've got some I didn't pick up the cocoa beans okay that's fine I'll just grab some here Also, I didn't pick up any jungle saplings, I don't think. Yeah. Because I'd like some of those, too. Oh, that's an oak tree. I'm not going to leave the, the floater. I want to, but I'm not going to be that guy. I know, it's my own world. It's not going to bug anybody but me. But no, I don't want to be that guy. Turns out this tree is tall. Okay. Yeah, now it said a desert would be lovely. Um, but I had some notes where a desert might be, but it is not close. Okay. Um, it's acacia saplings. Um... Definitely need to drop something here. Uh, yeah. Cool. Let's just drop the sticks. The saplings are more important to me than sticks. Aha. Okay. More than one. <clears throat> excuse me. More than one sapling would be ideal here. Uh, just anytime you wanted to drop some more on me, that would be great. Actually, this would this will save room if I just turn that into ingots. All right. Oh, 
Oh, that's oak saplings again. I don't care about the oak saplings. I have lots of oak saplings. What I don't have is a lot of jungle saplings. So, yeah. All right, but I've got got a little bit of bamboo. It's not a lot. But it should be enough just so I can start a cocoa farm and get some brown dye and stuff like that. All right. Let me take a look. I'm just going to see maybe there is a, a jungle nearby or a jungle, a desert, but I don't think so. I think... <clears throat> I think this area of the world, where am I at? 200 minus 30, whatever. Okay. Minus uh, 1300. <clears throat> oh, okay. So I'm at, where am I? X 200. Cool. X 200, which should be around here, and then minus Z minus 13. So I went down, or I went up. X 200. Wow, I'm bad at this. Okay, 200 and no. 2000. Wow. And minus 13. Okay. Cool. So yeah, I am way over there. All right, nice. Um let's see if I could find a not a lot in the way of desert out this way, just judging from the map. I know you can't see it, I'm sorry. All right, but let's see. So we're looking at 3,000 minus 4,000. All right, well, let's go for a walk. And maybe maybe we'll take a nap. Okay. So 3,000 minus 4,000. All right, so that's... It's going to be a long way to go. All right. So 3,000. I need positive X. All right. So, yeah. Do I want to try to cut over? I guess I can. I can cut over land. That should be totally fine. Not going to be dangerous at all. Especially because I obsessively sleep. So, I'm disappointed there was no armor trim there. All right. So this is definitely going to be a ways. Um, yeah, I basically need to be going this way. All right. Yeah, because what I would love to get instead is some cactus. Everything else I've pretty well, pretty well got. Oh, watermelon. That would be good. Grab some melon. All right. Um, well, paths can go away. And seeds. Yeah, we'll just take those melons with us. All right. Yeah, because setting up a, a melon farm would not be a bad thing. All right. And away we go. Yeah, I don't know how often I'm actually going to be on the surface. <laughs> Since this whole series is about being in the, uh, and being underground in the ancient city. Ooh, pillager outpost. That's good. Do they have a laze? No, they've got an iron golem. I know, it's a little cheaty. They've got an iron golem but no allays. Okay. 
that's something else I want to keep an eye out for. I have some farms I want to build, but they require a lays for what I want to do. So, because yeah, I'm thinking some lay powered farms would be kind of cool. <sighs> but to do that, of course, I have to have a lays. All right, well, still heading in roughly the right direction. I think we're going to have to get out of the boat here. All right. It's going to be a long walk back, too. Sorry, y'all, this is going to be a heck of a lot of walking today. But you know what? This is what Mojang wants us to do now. They they insist that we explore. Yeah, now here's the other thing. Because I'm in an ancient city... Oh. That doesn't sound safe at all. Uh, because I'm in an ancient city and underground, I'll never see a wandering trader. I'll only see them if I'm on the surface. And I don't expect that to happen very often. I think I've got these. I don't have the lilacs. This flower forest, though. Lilacs. All right, lilacs. Okay. Yep, we'll just grab a few of those. Oh, I don't have an ender chest. All right, well. When I get to the desert and want to pick up cactus, that's going to be an interesting choice of what I decide to not keep. Probably some of this cobblestone. Okay, but I want to not fall down. That would be lovely. All right, so... 3,000 points. So going this way is a good thing. All right, well, hey, um, lots of walking. Ugh. Yeah, a, uh, an elytra would be lovely, too. Of course, you know what would also be good? Look at this nice, lovely dark oak over here. I don't have the inventory for all of this. Okay, so... Cool, what? All right, so we're gonna get rid of those two, definitely. You know what, let's get rid of the redstone as well. I'll grab some of this uh, red mushroom. There we go. Hey, frog hopper, welcome, welcome. Okay, so we've got some red mushroom, that'll be useful later. Now let's see if I can get some uh, dark oak saplings here. Because I said it would be nice to uh, be able to gather or grow all of the wood back in the ancient city. Ah, how you doing, Frog Hopper? You having a good day? It's been a lovely Tuesday. Okay. Honestly, I don't care about the wood. I care about the saplings. But That's okay. You know, I've got a fortune pickaxe. I don't know if it... can't remember if it makes a difference. But we're going to try. You're having a great day. Awesome. That is fabulous. Okay. Turns out I need four of these, so... See how well this tree dissolves. Oh, I miss my tools, but... Man, dying last stream was not cool, man. Okay. Let's take this tree down, but again, if I need to, I can chuck the wood, but... I think with... If I get enough saplings here, I should. I will definitely want to be sure to fortune the uh, leaves when I plant this. 
Uh, but I should be able to get enough. Well, heck, that'll be all of the overworld trees anyway. I'm going to have to do a, a nether adventure here in the not too distant future. Because I'm going to need brewing stands and blaze powder, blaze rods, all that good stuff. So, left a floater. Leave not thine trees to float. I'm just going to cut this one down just to get it out of the way. Not that I particularly need oak, but. Again, I do want oak saplings, or dark oak saplings, so. So please, please, please. Ugh. I'm just gonna jump. <laughs> jump around, jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Okay, that's regular oak. Nobody cares about regular oak. Go away, regular oak. Nobody likes you. I did get some, a couple of dark oak saplings, so that's good. Okay. Yeah, when I finally get out there to the cactus, that's going to be a heck of a deal. Come on, break, break, break. Oh, darn. Decompose faster. I, I I need your saplings. Okay. It would be nice if I could get um get eight. Because eight saplings is two trees, right? So ah, oh, there we go. I think we're good. Okay. So we set. <clears throat> Yeah, I think we're good. All right. Nice. Well, this was productive. Wasn't expecting to run through this, but fabulous. All right. That's a cool little formation up that way. Oh, got ourselves some azalea. I think I've got some moss, though. And I don't really have inventory space. Though I could chuck out some of this wood. Okay, yeah, I think I've got moss, so... If I don't, I'll be hunting up a, a, a lush cave, but... I think I'm okay there. You know what, let's... Let's weigh anchor here and... Sleep for the night. Hey, let's... Okay, I've hit too many buttons. There we go. <sighs> All right. Yeah, now this is my... One of my least favorite parts of Minecraft is exploring. I know there are some people who are all into it, but... This is not really my jam. <sighs> so, when I do it, I like to try to just get... it knock out as many of the exploring things as I can, you know, just, just to get it done. So I don't have to do this as often. All right. So we're making a little bit of progress. So I think assuming chunk base is correct, there should be a desert up this way somewhere. You know, and that's going to be fabulous. Um, all right, I think I'm going to have to cut inland here. That's not quite what, how that was supposed to work. All right. Yeah, no, we're totally fine. Everything is great. All right, so we'll just meander up this way. And said so if I can get to a desert out here. 
Now, this is why typically before I do this, I do like to get up on the nether roof and have some obsidian and just set things up so I can link portals and things, but that way I don't have to traverse the overworld more than once, but I'm not on the nether roof yet. So doing the whole uh, nether thing is, I mean, it's doable. I mean, I do have to go through the nether, but eventually, but today is not that day. Oh, you're good computer. You good. All right. We're good. All right. So anyway, heading this way, or windswept hills. Okay. Hello, chickens. Ooh, a swamp. This is lovely. Ooh, I don't have mangrove. But this isn't a mangrove swamp, so... That's fine. It can be here. I mean, there are probably f frogs here. But I don't have anything to, uh, any way to bring them home with me at the moment. So if there are frogs, they're just going to have to, oh, there's a mangrove swamp. Hello, frog. All right. Well, this was unexpected. Uh, I think I'm making my way towards what I hope is a desert, but I've managed to find a mangrove swamp. And, you know, a lot of pigs. So, pigs are great. Um, but I'm going to see if I can snag a few propagules as I go through here. Because if I can... Uh, well, that didn't help at all. If I can break some propagules, this will be fabulous. And then I'll be able to grow lots of stuff. Just have to be sure I get full-grown propagules. All right. Well, I will do this, and that's, I'll bring you back in, hopefully, when I get to the desert. Okay. Now, I believe... Yeah, I did pick up propagules. Okay, cool. Yeah, propagules are lovely. Actually, I really like the mangrove trees. They're a real pain in the neck to harvest. Uh... A little bit easier in some ways if you have a laze. Okay, and it's because what you can do is you can grab your laze, you can have one that's picking up leaves, and one that's picking up picking up propagules, and one that's picking up um, the roots, right? And if you do that, then you know as you make your way down. The delays are picking up all the drops while you collect everything else and actually cut down the tree. So it's not bad, you know, it's still a little bit annoying, but it's okay. Some lovely fish action happening here. All right. Well, that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll make it. Oh, some lily pads would be good here too, but just grab a screenshot. I want to get the get these coordinates. So it would be nice to make my way back here again. Again, once I've got a uh, network through the Nether or above the Nether, perhaps. Because yeah, I could just take the coordinates build up on the roof, you know, build a portal up on the roof, and it'll beam me into the overworld somewhere on the surface, usually. Okay. I need to go this way, roughly speaking. Oh, yeah, it's just... Okay, that's a heck of a gash. Okay. Nice, nice little crevice going on there, right? Crevasse. Something like that. Oh, yeah. It's definitely... Hey, Sprite, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. 
Glad you're here. Hope you're having a fabulous day. All right. Ugh. These swamps are so hard to walk through. All right. Fortunately, I, I suppose I could get in my boat, but these are not the easiest swamps to traverse by boat either. You know what would be really cool? I mean, except for, you know, it wouldn't be, but it would also be cool. Is if they added, like, alligators to mangrove swamps. Right? Wouldn't that be cool? Get yourself a nice gator. Hello, frogs. Ugh, I want frogs. I don't have slime to get frogs, but I would really love to have frogs. I think I want to go this way. Some beyond the trees. Some. Aha! Waiting for me. There is a desert full of sand. And cactus is grand. I will get it. I should probably apologize for my singing, but I'm not going to. Okay, I will though, whatever. Close that now. Okay, yeah, can't really complain. Well, that's a good thing. Ugh. I don't have any brushes, so we're not gonna be doing the, uh, that, you know, whatever that is. Okay. <sighs> the archeology. span Let's grab some cactus. This is nice. Nice little uh, mangrove swamp. Some cactus. There's a lush dealy bob down here. So that's nice. I mean, I'm not sure I'm going to need it right away, but hey. We have a bunch of stupid rabbits. You know, based off of what happened in uh, Going Green... I know how stupid rabbits are. Yeah. Okay. This will be good. Set up a nice uh, cactus farm. All right. Cool. So now the trick is going to be to make it home. Because I think I have everything I need. Right? Okay. Let's double check. So I've got... Cherry saplings, jungle, acacia, mangrove. Got some lilacs, which is, are lovely. Cocoa beans. Uh, I've got cactus now, dark oak. I think I've got all of the tools that I need to uh, really help decorate my city. So, yeah, let's see if I can make it home in one piece. And, you know, without too much sand in my boots. All right. Ah. Plenty of rabbits, but I don't need rabbits. No, seriously, going green was the first time I've ever, well, maybe second time I've ever felt the need to try to find rabbits. When I was playing on uh, Mandolin's nerdy SMP, I set up a little rabbit farm because the bundles were potentially coming out and those are made with rabbit skin. Rabbit hide, I guess they call it. And so I wanted to harvest rabbit so that I could make a whole bunch of uh, bundles. But yeah, ultimately that just didn't happen. I mean, I built the farm, but bundles were not the most uh, exciting things in the world. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then I broke it while giving you the tour. That is true. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I didn't mean to break it. I mean, to be fair, it wasn't that complicated, but... Rabbits were all there anyway. 
<sighs> yeah, if I had a fortune or if I had a silk touch axe or pickaxe, I don't have, I've got fortune. Um, I'd maybe think about snarfing one of those hives, but I can generate hives, so I'm not too, too worried about that. Okay, let's take a peek, see if there's anything interesting in this uh, portal. The gold block would be nice. Okay. Don't know what the rendering is doing over there, but, you know, whatever. Okay, bunch of mending hoe. L lots of mending tools. That's just lovely. Um... Do I have anything interesting here? Not especially that I want to... Oh, you know what? I've got a little bit of sand. Maybe I'll just... Okay, because I really would like to harvest that gold block. Okay. Cool. Good. We're good. Alright. And we're off. This is uh, some heck of a train gen happening over here. And I actually need to be going... Where do I need to be going? Positive X. I need to be going this way. Positive X. No, negative X. I'm wrong. I need to go negative X this way. Negative X and positive Z. So this way. Cool. You know what? We're just going to climb this mountain because it's there. That That is the reason to climb a mountain. Always the reason to climb a mountain. Okay. All right. Now, this is going to be a of a mountain. I'm going to climb. It's going to be one of those streams where I just randomly sing things. It happens, and I don't have a great singing voice, so the rest of you, I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, Silk Touch pickaxe. Nope, I went with Fortune on this one after I lost my tools. Okay. So, positive... Yeah, positive... A where am I going? I need to get to minus 370 and minus 500. So, yeah, positive X and, or no, negative X. I know directions. Negative X and positive Z. So, I need to go this way. Right. Negative X and positive Z. I need to go southwest. I suppose. Actually, what I need to do is get a little further because I I guess I could just dig straight down. That's perfectly safe, right? At least if I splat. If I splat, I might lose all my stuff and I don't want to have to do this journey again. So we'll do it the safe way. All right, hello, hello, hello. Don't need pigs. So I would like chickens and stuff, but. And yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. This, I didn't bring that saddle with me. That's, that's. That would be a time to find a horse. All right. No, we're, we're fine. Yeah, I left the saddle in the. Uh, Jungle Temple, because, hey, I got lots of saddles. I got, like, three of them from the raiding the ancient city. So, I need to be going this way. Seriously, this way. Um, do need to be going negative X as well, just to get this way. But... Aha. Uh -huh. Well, guess who's not going that way? Um, sure. We'll go around. 
Ah, it's just a walk in the park. Okay, nice. Yeah, we'll take a look. If I happen to run across a uh, pillager outpost, I will take a quick peek. Again, I'd love to get some allays. Because I've got like three or four... Um, got three or four farms I want to build that I want to use allays to... in, in the design. And I just don't have a lace. Turns out they don't just sprout, so. Oh, you know what I should do? I should see if there's uh, brewing stands in any of these. I didn't even think about that. I got so caught up in, hey, I need to go to the nether to... Uh, to get... Um, uh, blaze rods. That's the word. I know what words are, uh, but that I totally forgot about. Hey, if I see a village, maybe I should steal their uh, steal their brewing stand. Not seeing a lot in the way of uh, clerics. Okay, this is a village of atheists. All right, no, that's fine. No church up there? Okay. All right, well, we'll keep meandering on then. Okay, I think my... Okay, I'm still heading in the right direction. On and on. Yeah, so I, I do need... So I do need a laze. And I do need brewing stands because yes, I I absolutely need clerics. They're just too handy for redstone, uh, but also for lapis. Okay, you know I've seen a couple of these uh, ruins above the water, and you know I'm sure the drowned would not be happy if I pillaged this one, but. We'll take a look. As long as we're on the surface, they're not going to care, right? This does look like a cute little castle, though. Hi, guys. No, I don't want to bother you. I really don't, but I would like to steal your stuff, okay? Uh, oh, well, a mending fishing rod. Okay, I'm not going to steal your, your fa favorite rod, okay? I might have broken a... Well, I didn't hear it clank, so... Okay, guys, have fun. Enjoy your fishing, or whatever. All right, moving on. Now, I, I will have to admit... My, the odds of me finding a uh, pillager outpost are pretty slim in the ocean. But let's face it, traveling by water is just going to be a lot faster than walking. Though I think I will set up camp out here on this beach up ahead. I'm sure it'll be safe. Nothing at all dangerous could happen here on this beach, right? 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 Please, let me sleep. Sleep. Thank you. <laughs> um, <let's... sighs> okay. And we're off. Okay, let's try that again. Sort of an interesting... Uh, Bit of terrain over there. Oh, hey, you know what? I haven't been looking for these. Let's take a look at this sunk this uh, ship. I'm not going to go hunting for treasure maps or anything like that, but 
I mean, I suppose I could, but one of the things I'd like to find... Iron I don't care about. Emeralds, I'm not going to care about too much either, so just leave it. Um, I wouldn't mind finding a Heart of the Sea, but I'm not really close to anything that would require, you know, building a conduit or anything like that. So, you know, that's a... That's a thing that can happen at another time. Okay, these turtles... These turtles look lost. Does anybody else think these turtles look lost? Oh, I mean, yes, there's ocean over there, but... These guys... You don't really see the, the rare... Wow. Look at all those turtles. Alright, fair. Good luck, guys. Have, have fun in that whole... And enjoy the spruce forest. Turtles don't get to see those very often, so, you know, have fun. Okay, however, I am going to have to take a quick break and run to the bathroom. I will be back in just a moment. Okay. Ah, oh, much better. I don't like having to do that on str while I'm streaming, but sometimes my bladder just decides, get up, old man. It is time for you to uh, take care of business. Okay. This is a... This is a heck of a beach, I have to say. This is... This is a serious beach. We got... Okay. Forest fires, too. Cool. So, you know. Ah, alright, alright, alright. Yeah, right? You know, it's, it is... It is sort of a relief, you know. All right, uh, we've got ourselves some cows. We've got ourselves all sorts of good stuff. Positive You know, I'm not sure I want to hop in that river. I'm not entirely sure that's... No, that doesn't look like enough of a river to uh, be worth boating in. Whew. This terrain, man. Ah, but yes, it's always nice to uh, walk through the woods, right? <sighs> nah. So this is one of my least favorite parts of Minecraft. So the fact that we were able to find all of the different trees that I was lacking in one trip makes me happy. We'll have to do some other exploring here. So in the not too distant future, as I said, I'm I'm wanting a Lays. And that's gonna be a little bit of an issue. So <sighs> going to have to go hunting for pillager outposts or a mansion or something. Preferably pillagers, that's an easier it's an easier way to get a Lays. Okay, got ourselves. Oh, another village. Lovely. We'll just take a peek here. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. We'll just enjoy this. Oh, popped in the. T yeah. 
<laughs> if anyone thought the community I'd most likely to help. Oh, man. There's a lot of stuff I want to get into. Like, I'd love to actually set up a Minecraft server and play with it, even if it's not public. But yeah, that what you were talking about over there with that uh, module. And it said, I, I think it was absolutely missing some bits and bobs. So that makes it tough. But no, I haven't done any sort of building of Java apps in, said almost, as I said, I think since the late 90s. So, you know, I... Though I think I might have actually run a Maven script a couple of times for another app. But, man, it's been forever and a day. Hi. Heck, I think the last time I programmed in Java was it was Java 1.2. They were calling it Java 2. Um... <laughs> Let's just say it, it's been a hot minute. Aha! Um, cool. What's... Nope, nope, nope. I want the saplings. I do not need the obsidian. Cool. Any more? No? I'm, I'm going to... Yeah, anyone else get the song Losing My Religion in their head right now? Oh, you know what I should look for? It's carrots. I don't have carrots. And, um, I, that would be great. Let's see. What do we have down here? We, it's carrots. Cool. Let's, um, whew. all right. Goodbye, pistons. Okay, I don't need the potatoes, but... Uh, We'll, we'll get some carrots. Yeah, carrots. Ooh, and some beetroots. Do I want to bother with the beetroots? Heck, I've got a fortune hoe here. The short answer is probably not, but... Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, modifying configs, that's what that's my job. That's what I do at work all day. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, it's like, yeah. Okay. So I've got I've got carrots. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, I think I've been through I think I've been through most of these houses. Yeah, I think this is where I came ashore, so all right, well, yep, and that's where I stole their thing. Okay. All right, you you guys didn't have a sufficient number of clerics, but I guess we'll let it slide. All right, southwest, that way. <sighs> no, I wrote a lot of Java when I was in school, but... Okay, tell me you're seeing that, right? Oh, there was a block behind it. I could have sworn those sheep were standing on each other. That was, I mean, I've, I've heard stackable livestock is a great way of saving space, but I didn't expect it to find it in nature. Okay. <laughs> that was actually an old Far Side comic back in the day. All right. Nice. Well, let's see what else we've got. What we've got is a long walk, so. Yeah, plug is already made. You have to tweak it. Oh, right. Yeah, well, and, and from what you posted in the Tech Talk channel in the Discord, looks like it was missing something important, so. That, that makes it tough. All right. Well, there's some more water. So I think... So I'm going to make my way over here to this stretch of... 
I think I'm gonna keep walking. I'm not entirely sure I, I trust where that water is going, so. We're gonna continue on through this uh, lovely birch forest. You know, it's funny, I was at a conference a few years back. There's a, there's a little get together for the uh, different higher ed IT shops in Colorado and it meets at a, in a little mountain resort. That resort's the wrong word. It's a, it's sort of an outdoor ed school type thing, but it's cabins and stuff. But step out there and there was one, one morning I stepped out to go for a walk. Yeah, you know, just to get a little exercise before everything got going. And it, it's an aspen forest. And man, you could see like er, the the air was green from the way the sun was shining through the leaves and stuff. It was so pretty. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully the uh the project manager will be able to uh get those missing files posted there. Hey, Carp. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? Glad to have you here. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. I'll go this way. All right. I think I really need to. We'll make it. I'll, I'll zero in. I know the coordinates, so we'll get there eventually. I had a compass, I suppose. I could have brought it, but it's just another inventory slot. Ah, it's work for operating systems class. That's, that could be interesting. I was not particularly fond of my operating systems class, but I don't like working that low of a level, so. Okay. Dink, 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 about a server. Yeah, that could be, that could be fun one of these days. I've, I've toyed with the idea. But yeah, right now, so I've got a box sitting in my living room that I could use for, uh, just to play with something locally. But, ah, wait, get out of the water. Okay. Turn that into that. Let's see, there's a chest around here somewhere. Anything useful? Nope. Nope. And also, yeah, a whole lot of nope right there. Cool beans. Just picked up the book on game engine architecture. Oh, right. There's a picture of Minecraft. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny when I was taking operating systems. Um, we had a, we had an install of Minix, which is a Unix-like operating system designed for teaching and learning operating systems. The problem is it lacks a lot of the safety features that most modern operating systems have, like the ability to recover from having its, uh, for, for being turned off while it's running. Yeah, th there were a couple of times I was sitting down, I I had done some stuff. I had my my oldest daughter in a stroller with me because she was three or something. And yeah, I wasn't paying attention. She was sitting there as calm as could be and she just reached out and hit the button that turned off my server. <sighs> I had to completely reinstall the operating system. That wasn't great. Yep, the file system had no recovery tools. That was not fabulous. Hey guys. I'd give a dog a bone, but I don't have one, so I'm just gonna have to live with that. Oh, that's a shipwreck. I was gonna say, who put a pillager outpost in the ocean?
but uh, some of it might be some of the files are Linux based. Um, it depends. Depends on what the uh, what the build process is like. Um, I didn't look at it too closely because again, my Java knowledge is many years out of date. But I don't think the build process would require the uh, shell scripts. Um, do I have a? I do have a semi-permanent base. Yes, I do. Um, am I going to the end eventually? In fact, I know where the end portal is because I've looked at, at chunk base and I know where these things are. But I just need to get there. But I wanted to get a little bit more settled before I went to uh, hit up the end portal. The good news is, if you want to call it that, to get to the end portal, I have to cut through two more ancient cities. Because this seed is insane. Um, so it has like four or five ancient cities all right next to each other. Yeah, it's a little nuts. So... Okay, getting there. Let's head this way. Okay. That's not a... Nope, that's... That's a drowned city. So, yeah. Yep, all the hacks. I should be... I don't have inventory space. I should be checking these shipwrecks, but... Yeah, to tame the warden. I actually have a machine to... Silence the shriekers so the warden doesn't show up. But, uh, yeah, what I want to do, I'm actually tempted because I've got my, my, uh, shrieker silencer. Okay. Drop shaft. I'm actually, I need to need to go this way. So my shrieker silencer, if I, uh, retrofit it a little bit. I could also turn it into a um, warden farm, which would be really cool. I think I know where I'm at, actually. I need to go seriously negative X, though. Okay. Making my way downtown. So the warden drops, um, what do they drop? Shul uh, catalysts, skull catalysts. And the catalyst itself, um, I've got m several I could harvest from the city. So I don't particularly need the catalyst. Uh, but you use the catalyst to, uh, if you kill things around it, it can generate skulk. Which could be uh, really useful. You know, one, the skulk just looks cool. It's a good, nice building block. Uh, but you could potentially use the skulk as an XP source. Look at th That would be such a cool place to build something. This whole amphitheater, Dealy Bob. Okay. Now, had I feather falling boots, I would 100% risk the jump into that river. Okay, but I don't, so we're gonna, we're just gonna walk. So yeah, the, a word farm is fun, but not as helpful as it could be. Yeah, well the catalyst isn't too bad, but I, I need to go sort of this way. I think I want to be on that side of the river. Tr trigger the auto mod? Could be, I'm not. Unfortunately, I've got chat potentially in three different places. And, uh, oh yeah, looks like it caught something. What's fun is the, uh, I don't know. It just says message retracted on my end. 
but it's fun. The uh, chat that gets to, gets embedded in OBS doesn't uh, uh, doesn't show that at all, and MIU didn't show it because I think it got deleted before MIU saw it. So, all right. So somewhere over this way, I think if I go this way, yeah, well, YouTube, yeah, YouTube lets you delete your own comments, which is kind of cool. Okay, so I think I need to go to, yeah, if I go to minus 304 and minus 288, it's going to be this way. I'll be back at my original, my little starter village. Yeah, well, the warden, Mojang didn't want you to fight the warden. Right? The, the warden wasn't supposed to be a boss mob. It was supposed to just be a, a terror in the dark. And... It, it certainly is not fun, but it's also really easy to avoid. So. Okay, I'm getting close. Where's my bed? So, yeah, it's, uh, it's not bad. But yeah, they didn't want you to kill the warden, so at first it just didn't have any drops at all. And then they decided to give it a catalyst. Which is fine. I actually like the catalyst, the bottom of it. Oh, there's my village. Perfect. The underside of a catalyst actually is a really cool texture. So, you know, that's that makes it kind of nice. All right. So I need to drop off my boat. So I'll just leave it here. Um, cool. All right. Well, let's uh, very slowly make our way back to the city. Whew. Nice. Oh, yeah. I've seen a number of those videos, or at least the titles of those videos. You know, oh, yeah. Hey, make a warden or make a... What, what do they do in Secret Life? Um... They had a warden and a uh, uh, triangle or three-headed flying skeleton dealy bob um, wither fight. Yeah, that was. I think the wither rocked that world. All right, and here we be. Nice. Whew. So you asked about a semi-permanent base. This is it. Was there a... I guess it's possible to get glow squid in the... in the farm. I guess that, that would make... that would make some sense, I suppose. Alright, gold is there. Alright, nice. Uh, so... Actually, I'm gonna grab this gold back for just a minute. Yeah, oh yeah, I've I've done I've done pretty well. And had a nice successful trip. I even managed to find a brewing stand on the way home. So this is good. I can at least get a cleric, which is better than not having a cleric, I suppose. And I found some carrots. Oh yeah, I am in good shape now just to uh load things up in the storage room. I I want a storage system. But we'll load it up by hand. And uh, see what we can do with stuff. But yeah, I've definitely made a little bit of progress here. Um, drop that off. Plants. Oh, I did have lilacs. Okay. But I've got sunflowers now too. So, cool. So I've, I'm doing, doing great. Mangrove. Oh, that's cherry. Mangrove and acacia. Cherry's gonna go in. There. Lots of dark oak. 
That's not dark oak, that's spruce. You know, it's a thing. Kelp is excellent. And bamboo. Oh yeah, this is... This is fabulous. Put the mushrooms in there. The jungle. Okay, I guess we're going to stick the jungle in here with the dark oak because I forgot to uh, keep a make a space for it. That's fine. <laughs> Hit the mark that saw that read the stream date is 2004. It's certainly possible. <laughs> I'm not going to say I didn't accidentally make it 2004. Alright, jungle, 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 jungles. Going back in there with the dark oak. Would not surprise me. Am I in the past? Okay, now you've all got me curious. Did I really s mistype the date? No, I didn't. Okay, cool. I'm in. Wouldn't surprise me. Ooh, do I have any emeralds? Got a couple. It would have been nice to have brought those other ones back, but... Okay, I think this is the only guy who doesn't have a job right now, so... Congratulations. You get to be a cleric. Enjoy your job. Cool. <laughs> Just bad at reading. Gotcha. Alright. Nice. Okay, so one cleric will not a church make, but it will at least uh, give me a quick access to to a little bit of redstone anyway. Yeah, so this is this is kind of what's coming up here for episode three, I think. So I've got an iron farm set up, which is all sorts of fun, uh, and. Yeah, my new... Well, that's the iron farm. Um, I've got my villagers moved down here. This is my manual sort of storage room. And what I want to do is I'm going to set up some more farming up here. More manual farming. But what I might do is take this building here and turn it into a uh, pumpkin and melon farm not entirely sure ah uh, yes it's, it's not even a joke the the infinite monkey theory it's a it's actually a philosophy and chaos theory that if you give an infinite number of monkeys an infinite number of typewriters they will eventually in an infinite amount of time write Shakespeare yeah from amongst that, they'll eventually write Shakespeare. All the others will write Pearl. Yeah. Pearl can look like keyboard bar fight. I get that. There's a great sketch by the Canadian improv group Three Dead Trolls in a Baggie that was, that talked about um, giving like a hundred monkeys typewriters. And they, so yes, yeah, they, they didn't write Shakespeare, but they got, uh, you know, uh, two Hemingways and a king. That's uh, Stephen King, the, the Tommyknockers in Dutch. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was a fun sketch. All right, nice. So, right, I need, probably need some more farmland is what I need. Um, okay. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Oh, you know what? I, I put sand in that box. Let's label it. Okay, cool. Now, what I want to do is let's get some iron. And I want to turn some of this into nuggets. And I want to get some chains. Uh, grab a few more chains. Now, do I have more? I don't. Okay. Let's craft up a couple of lanterns. Now, I, th 
think what I want to do is, oh, what I actually also want to do is get some bamboo growing somewhere. Um, 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 um. Sure, we'll just put, we'll just get the bamboo over here. Okay. Won't be a lot, but hey, it'd be nice to get a little bit of bamboo growing. Ah, oh, bamboo. Where did I put it in the plants, didn't I? Because one of the things I'm going to do here is I am going to be setting up a bamboo farm for a furnace. Oops, this way. And uh, I don't like sunlight. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. There's some bamboo. Here, let's turn on the gamma just so it's easier for y'all to see. All right. Now, um, I also want to need some slabs. Let's grab some deep slate. Yeah, a couple of deep slate brick slabs would be good. And I don't know how I want to do this. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's funny. I can look over here and I can often see the sunset. <laughs> you know, because I think that, yeah, that's the west. Yeah, see, there it is. I can watch the sunset since the uh, that back wall isn't loaded. <laughs> that's a little amusing. I have to admit. All right. Okay, we're gonna do it this way. Me, uh, I'd like to do it this way. Those lanterns. Um, hi. Can I? Well, that's annoying. Um, that is very annoying. Let's see if I've got a trap door. Yeah, it's like I just want to duck. Uh, I should have a trap door. I think I've got some spruce ones. Okay, I have a singular spruce trap door. That's all good. Okay. Oh, good. I think my cat is throwing up. That's lovely. Okay. Okay, I'm in the way. There we go. Cool. <laughs> and a lot of my crops just broke because there wasn't enough light, but that's okay. We got it now. Okay, and I'm going to put another one up there. Yeah, I think this is going to be okay. Um, all right, same deal. Let's... Throw a little more light there. Okay, so that's gonna go there. Let's get our do our magical trap door action. That up. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's just stupid, but it worked. Alright. And then put another chain right there. Okay. Cool. So now, let's see. How do I want to do this? I want three blocks high, so I think I need another row of something, and then I want to put in the dirt. What do I want to do? Maybe, you know, I've got a bunch of raw deep slate. Let's, let's use that. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Also, do I have... Do I have sticks? <laughs> That's an interesting question. I guess I can arrange to have sticks. All right. Sticks, and let's make some ladders. Okay. <clears throat> it's kind of fun when you know that at some point I'm going to be using a lot of these, and... Uh, Okay, so this is going to come up this way. 
And I think, I think we'll go this way. Now what I don't have, two, three, is I, I have not set up any of the stuff for my trees to grow. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be fun. Um, four, about this way. All right. Okay, we've got ourselves some lovely bats flying around. Those are, you know, great and stuff. Actually, the new bat texture is kind of cute. The previous ones were a little too kind of small and frenetic to actually see. But it's all right. Okay, so this is going to go this way. Now, you know what might be cool? Let's, um, oh, maybe let's get some spruce slabs. That might look good. Or actually birch. I think I've got some birch here. Yeah, got some birch. I even have some slabs, but that should be enough. All right. Okay, yeah, this will be... I'm the only one who uses birch in their builds. Birch is a lovely block. But in this case, I'm using it because it's because of its color. It's a very light color, uh, which here in the ancient city... Here, let me turn off the override here for a minute. Right, everything is really dark, so I want to use some lighter colors and things to just sort of brighten up the look. Now, the reality is I don't typically use that much um, I don't typically use that much birch. Oops. That one's going to go there. This goes away. Okay. But, you know, sometimes it's just the right block. You know, it's sort of become a meme, which is unfortunate, that birch is just a terrible block to build with. Same with diorite. My view on it is, if you can't, you know, if it's too hard for you to build with, don't build with it. But just because it's a challenge doesn't make it bad. And the diorite is hard to use. It's loud. It is a loud block. There's a lot going on with it. The same is true of bir birch logs. They're because of the the way the bark goes. It's just a loud block. But it's a really nice block to build with. You know, the stripped birch logs are especially nice. Uh, and then this. Uh, yeah, the planks, when you need a good light color, the birch planks really um, are, are really a great way to go. Of course, now that we've got cherry, that helps too, but, okay. All right, I'm just gonna bring in our dirt here. All right, where's my slab? Slab goes there. I need to get some water, but... Also, I'm gonna have to get some more light up here, but... But that's okay. Not entirely sure how I'm gonna do that, but... Figure something out. Also, I do not have nearly enough dirt I think this is all the dirt I have, and that's not going to be enough to cover that whole thing. It's like half the size. Okay. Well, let's go... Let's go get our... Oh, right. Um, 
So let's go grab a, a hoe. Cat. So that I can uh, get up there and plow the land. Yeah, I like, I like birch. I mean, spruce is my favorite wood type. It's just a good all-purpose wood. It's not too dark, but it's dark enough to really offset it from most of the stone. Okay, let's see. Dirt. Do I have more dirt? Yeah, definitely not much. Okay. And... That away. Okay, let's see. How do I want to do this? Because I do. Oops, that's not where that goes. That goes in there. Is oatmeal raisin my favorite type of cookie? No, but I like oatmeal raisin. It's good stuff. Of course, I like oatmeal and I like raisins, so, you know. <laughs> Okay, so that's going to go up there. So, yeah, I need to get some more dirt. Dirt is definitely one of those things that I am lacking. Okay, but... <laughs> Birch is the oatmeal race. No, man, you find somebody who, can, who really has a good command of, of uh, blocks and stuff. And you can do some amazing things with birch. Did I have any of these guys unlocked enough to give to buy? Yes, one. Okay. Let's get some emeralds and. Hi, I would like to sell you some iron, please. Thank you. Uh, you as well. Iron. Cool. All right. Oh, he's leveling up. What's, I wonder what he's going to... Uh, efficiency axe. Yeah. Not fabulous, but okay. Now, you watch somebody like Gemini Tay. Gemini Tay does some amazing things with Birch. Okay, yeah, these guys I don't have unlocked. Hey, what do you get? Oh, good. Glass trade. Wonderful. This is this is why I want as many of these librarians. Not because I necessarily want the trades, though I do want the books, but I absolutely want glass and stuff. A nice renewable source of glass is definitely happy. Okay, so I think the way I want to do this is let's take these. We're going to hang some lanterns all the way around here. Why glass? Um, because glass looks good in a building. But also, um, I'm going to want to build things like uh, honey farms, which require bottles. And that's just a heck of a lot of glass to uh, try to harvest from you know, places. Okay. And, you know, sand is not renewable. So the more ways I can get, uh, more ways I can get things that are renewable, the better. And then I could actually use sand for things like concrete or TNT. Which is a win. All right. Uh, tools, tools, tools. Right. That hoe doesn't have any sort of mending on it. Um, oh, but I've got... Books. Um, tools. There are there. Books. Yeah, most of these are the ones I found in the... Yeah, that I found in the city. But I have... Mending guy. And an unbreaking guy. 
I don't have enough uh, emeralds for that, but that's that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, I think I can sell a little bit more iron. That'd be nice to get mending and I'm breaking on a hoe. I know it seems weird, but uh, I'm breaking. There we go. Okay, cool. Now the the one catch here is that it is a little bit on the broken side, so that's not ideal. Forgot which way these need to go. That'll work. Okay. Cool. Now I think. Oh, that's right. There's the efficiency five and silk touch. Oh, let's just combine those. Efficiency five, silk touch. Actually, um, yeah, it would be nice to have one of these with uh, fortune for harvesting the crops and stuff, but we'll go with it. Oh, I need water. Darn it. Water bucket, you know what? Make my crops grow without sun. Water bucket of Okay. Perfect. Now the theory. Oh, right. Um here. Let's darn it. Do I still have that trap door on me? I do. Wonderful. Okay. All right. Now, the theory is that crops actually grow faster if you uh, don't plant them next to each other, right? If you, you alternate them with something else. But so I may do that. But oh, I put the. Of course, I was done with the deep slate. Yeah, totally done with the deep slate. Deep slates. Looking at you. Gonna get deep slate. I don't know why I'm in a singing mood today. Um it just happens. Two, three, and four. I do want to keep an eye on this a little bit to be sure I'm still in a uh in the deep dark biome up here, but it should be. Unfortunate. Let's see. Um, do it that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I'm still in the deep dark. Yeah, you can see that that green. That's where the deep dark ends, and I end up in some other biome. So cool. Good to know. And four. Okay, cool. I may leave these ones open. I don't know if I'm going to do another layer on top here, but this will definitely be a framework to hang lanterns from anyway, which is kind of what I want. All right, but there is room there if I want to add more of more crops of some sort or other. All right, nice. Where's my, where's my hoe? Okay. Yeah, so I'm not entirely sure if I want to take the alternating route of for my potatoes and carrots. I think I will, at least for the moment, since I only have the one. Um, yeah, I only have the one. 
dealy bob here. And by dealy bob, obviously I mean field. Yes, that, that's the word I'm looking for, field. All right, there, we got some carrots, we got some potatoes. And since I have a very small number of carrots and potatoes, uh, you know, might be a good thing to handle, uh, handle in this way, so. All right. Don't eat the potato. I know, potatoes are amazing and delicious, but no, no. The potatoes are not for eating today. All right. Okay, well, that'll work for the moment. I don't have any villagers, I think, that buy carrots. I think when I... Set to, set about for training. It's pretty much wheat and potatoes. Ah, that guy buys carrots. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay. Yeah. This is gonna look cool. I think what I'll do then. Yeah. Let's line out a bunch of stuff. So let's see what time is it. It's okay. So let's let's get crazy, shall we? Feel like getting crazy? I feel like getting crazy. Let's get some water. So, what I want to do here is, um, yeah, this way. Sorry, is it is it okay? I think I've got my gamma off. Is visibility still okay on the stream? I think what I want to do here is take that out and yeah let's go ahead and just drop a couple of slabs down here too because I want to set up a water drop from where so way up top okay now I will remember to sleep before I go up there you know but Okay, and let's move this bed. I do kind of like having a bed down here, but... Okay, so that's going to go that way. Alright, so that is minus 7... Th or 378 and minus 534. Okay. And then this... is going to go that way. So basically... I've got to dig down through this thing twice. Um, cool. I do have shovel. I do have stuff. All right. You know, if I were smart, am I smart? If I were smart, I'd build the up elevator first. Because then I can set up the bubble column and all of that fun stuff. Okay. So I'm going to have to go back and I'm going to set up another temporary drop thing. But that's not that far of a drop if I'm digging down. So I just need to be sure I've got... Uh, Back down. Sorry, I need to get some coordinates. Yeah, because I think I do want to set up my uh, tree farming operation up on the surface. Because I don't have a whole lot of space in the ancient city. And frankly, they're just bulky and in the way, so... And I think I'm close enough to them when I'm down here to the to the surface of the world that they'd still random tick and grow. Though, I don't know if random tick is a sphere or if it's a cylinder. 
All right, so that's three. Let me just take a note here. Upshaft is going to be 378 minus 53 and minus 532. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to borrow this one for a minute. Okay, and let's get another bit of water that I can pour down when I get up top there. That would be lovely. Oh, you know what? I might actually need some other blocks now that I think about it. Yeah, let's get some other blocks because I don't know what I've got in the way of caves and stuff around there. So should have a lot of spruce. Yeah. Okay. I'm just sticking iron stuff in there for now. So, yeah, we'll go with spruce planks to fill in any space I need to. All right. Awesome. Let's do the thing. All right. And, it's, and it shouldn't be... I mean, it's a little bit of a walk over here, but it shouldn't be too bad. This is part of the reason I brought kelp. And I... Once I get the hole dug, I've, I've got some... Uh, I think I've got a little bit of soul sand that I've harvested from around the city. So I'll be able to create the bubble vader from there, which will be nice. That's the other thing I have to get on my next nether adventure. Or my first nether adventure. Is I'm going to have to get some... I'm going to have to get some soul sand. Cool. All right, so let's go find it. 538, or 378. That's going to be this way. Negative, of course. 378. Right around here. And then this way. 2 minus 532. It's not really that far when it comes down to it. Okay, 5.30. Ouch. Because 200 blocks just along the surface really isn't that bad. All right. 5.32. Well, there's a hole. <laughs> All right. Yeah, cool. So 532, coming up on that, just over here. All right, if you have an elytra, this is almost nothing, right? Okay, 532, that's going to be here. And f what about 378? That's this way. Oh, of course, it's on top of the hill. Cool. 378. 78 and 532. I'm going to drop a torch right there because then this 534, that's the other one. Right? That's That will eventually be the drop shaft. All right. Cool. This isn't going to be dangerous at all. Here, I'm going to turn on the gamma override just so that, again, we'll be able to see fairly nicely. Oh, that kind of scares me a little bit. We're going to go a little bit slow. I just want to be sure I don't... If I, I drop into a cave, I'll drop into a cave. That's... Okay. Cool. Oh, you know what? Let's uh, throw some torches around here just because it'll make life a little bit easier later. Gamma override is going to throw things off a little bit, but... Okay, that's fine. All right, so that's going to go down this way. Let's... Since I know I'm coming down here anyway, 
All right, that's going to go this way. Let's go ahead and just fill that in too. So this one's a drop shaft, so it's not going to be that as much of an issue, but okay. This one I've got to fill with water, so it's going to be a little bit problematic. All right. Just another hundred blocks to go. <laughs> At least I'm getting plenty of uh, cobblestone. Who is it? Is it Green, I think, who's talks about, yeah, no, vertical mining is the way to go. Yeah, you know, because you start getting some of everything. Yeah, it's not, not the safest thing in the world, but... Okay, I think, I think before I build the next tunnel, we're going to turn on the shrieker silencer. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Okay, down we go. We're, ju we're just going to go down. Uh, and, okay. Hey, let's, uh, do I still have my bow and arrows on me? I do not. Cool. <laughs> Ooh, that was fun. That was so fun. Okay, um. Okay, let's. Tools. I really should uh, keep some of these in a chest over by the silencer. Okay, yeah. I like this tool, the, the Shrieker silencer. It does keep all of the bad things away. Okay, so step one, I have a slot in the inventory. Okay, step two, three, four, five. Step three, turn on. Okay. There it goes. Yep, now it's gonna yell at us. Perfect. All right. Yes, and while that is dark and scary, don't have to worry about it. Now, the catch is I do need to, unfortunately, because I just dug down like mad, um, I'm going to have to uh, stop as I dig the drop tunnel to fill in all of the other sp spaces. But So that's going to come this way. This is all going to have to come out. Okay. Oh, do I still... I've got... Why do I have bunches of random garbage in my inventory? Cool. All right. Not going to need those. Okay. I'll have to worry about the powered rail later. All right. And then... Here, and then I'll set up something here. To... Uh, do that but okay lovely so rail button mine cards all right nice well let's go dig the other one and then that will do it for for today because uh yeah this is gonna be uh it's going to be crazy, but it's going to be nice to be able to pop up to the surface and I can set up my, all of my tree farming up there or most of it. I may still keep like a, a spruce tree or two down under, underneath just for easy wood. Um, 
but I do want to be setting up a uh, fairly large bamboo farm. Okay. So that I can, and basically just use bamboo for, for my easy source of wood. All right, so this way we go. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm fully aware. <laughs> <sighs> yes, this is a mature stream, right? Family friendly, yeah. Okay. One right, of those things is true. Yes, I've got the sense of humor of a 12-year-old, but you know... So I think back up this way a little bit. All right, now, because that guy is going, let's see, 532. Okay, so we should be coming up on it this, yep, there it is, cool. Okay, don't need that. All right. I'm up on the surface above my ancient city. What I'm going to do here is dig straight down. Um, I've already dug one shaft. In fact, what I should do here, this is going to be uh, my way up. So I can use the surface up here for some good stuff. But now comes the digging straight down of the second channel, which is going to be a special breed of fun. So we'll just go through and hope everything stays nice and safe. Oh, man. The, the number of times I've had to uh, censor myself in some way for the stream is a little crazy. <clears throat> nope, nope. Family friendly. Family friendly. That's, that's what... I keep leaning on my... I've got a button on my mouse for... to hit F1 for... Uh, to quickly remove the HUD for stuff. And I keep leaning on it. Okay, now we should be hitting deep dark here fairly soon. Okay. Okay, there's the deep slate. Cool. Now, because I've turned on the, the shrieker silencer. Yeah, look at all these guys down here. Yeah. We'll just shut these guys up. Ah. Thank you, Il Mango, for your designs. I appreciate it. Okay. Just a quick check around here. I think we're alright. Oh, yes. That's um, definitely an issue. Cool. Cool. All right, no, no, we're, we're fine. Okay, and now where am I coming down? That would be this spot right here. All right. All right, bring this down this way. I know it sounds scary, but the warden can't hurt us here. Okay, first off, we'll grab some of that. Do I have more torches? I do. There they are. I'm just going to throw another torch out there. And down we go. Now we'll probably... Yep, right here. Cool. Alright, now where did... Okay. Where's my other... Oops, that would be painful. Let's uh, get rid of that. Okay, so where's the other drop channel? It's right there. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, yeah, this should be totally fine. Oh, why am I... 
Oh, right. I see why. Hang on. I gotta clean out all the garbage. There's a... Uh, there we go. Oh, good. I can't breathe. Cool. This is gonna be... I'm gonna race the clock. Can I make it? Yes. Okay. Okay, breathing. Breathing's a thing. I like to breathe. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, the pulsing light kind of sucks. It's the drawback of the... Dealing with all of the warden. But, all right, let's get through back through here now. Um, right, so this... Right, that was the drop chamber. Yeah, that it's it's the annoying part of warden wrangling. Um, okay, I think what I'm gonna have to do, darn it, because the skulk, ah, cheese monkeys. Okay, I'll I, I'll deal with that on, later. Okay, okay. All right, so down we go. And this should be roughly safe. Okay. For, there's a fair a, a approximation of safe happening here, right? Uh, I could I could do without that the light, but at least it's safe. I'm just close enough to where the uh Warden would spawn that it's, uh, yeah, that's what's hitting things. So, okay, boom. All right, nice. So, let's go ahead and come over here and let's stop this. And now we should be good. Collect my arrows. All right, and the darkness should go away here in just a minute. <sighs> okay. And we're done. We're done with that part of it anyway. All right, so let's see now. I need a couple of... I think I'm just going to do this with... Uh, some trap doors. Or trap doors, some fence gates. Do I have... Oh, I don't have enough. Okay. Alright, so just grab a couple of those. So I can keep the water all safe. And I need to go see where I've got some soul sand. Alright. So, just put that there. Okay. No, it's gonna be fine. All right, let's get some soul sand and some kelp. And I don't know if I have enough bone meal for this. That's uh, that's gonna be an issue. Obviously, I'm... when I could, yeah, let's just, Let's clean out my inventory. <laughs> my my inventory is a hot mess. All right, uh, diorite goes in there, and a sec goes in there. Ran it goes in there. Okay, and then the tough blocks go there. Skull goes in there. All right, cool. So I'm gonna need I'm gonna need the kelp. Cool. And I'm going to need bone meal. I suppose I could harvest a, a zillion and a half crops, but. Alright. Um, is it. The, yeah. That one should. Because I'm going to need. Let's see. What am I at down? I'm at minus 52. Up there was like at. 
what was it? Like 70? 80? Means I'm gonna need like two stacks of bone meal. That's not fabulous. Um, let's see what I've got over here. Got some. Let's, uh, let's harvest the wheat. I'll replant the field and then I'm just going to compost all of the wheat. Which is a little bit sad, but. At this point, I actually need the compost more than I need the uh, wheat, so. And I probably won't starve. Now, I've got enough emeralds and stuff, or I can get emeralds enough that I can buy, uh, I can buy more carrots and things, golden carrots, and all that good stuff. All right. Cool, so we'll throw those seeds in there. We'll throw the wheat in there. All right. And now we'll do this field as well. Actually, I've got fortune on this pickaxe. It's... I don't know if that fortune actually made a difference, but hey, we'll... Uh, We'll hope and dream. Okay. But let's not lose that kelp accidentally. That would be... Boy, that would be bad. I hate to have to go make my way back out to an ocean just to replace the kelp because I was stupid. All right. Doing okay. We're doing okay. All right. Awesome. Throw the rest of the seeds in there. The wheats. Okay, so if assuming this works the way I hope it does, and it should, I'll get plenty of plenty of bone meal. Then I can make this kelp go grow all the way to the top. That's the theory. This may take a minute. <laughs> All right. Um, while that chomps away, let's go check over here. Um, oh. Yeah, that probably needs a little more light. All right, so... That's okay. Like I said, I think I'm going to need probably two stacks and maybe a little more. Okay. How's this growing up here, by the way? Well, it looks like we're getting there. Let's harvest a few of these potatoes. Is this a spot? I might have missed a spot. Okay. All right. And I think some of these carrots are ripe as well. Oh, it's not. That one is. I've seen a couple of uh, resource packs and stuff or data packs that give a better vis visualization of when the crops are fully ripe. Or, and ready to harvest. I haven't uh, entirely wanted to uh, get into that, but I've, I've toyed with that a little bit. It's like it puts an exclamation mark over their heads. But also, I don't want to... I don't want to lose the immersion too much. You know what I mean? Okay. Cool. We'll deal with uh, that field eventually, but. Done. That was it, huh? OK. 
Okay. Well, and I've got 60-something kelp, so if I need to, that might be enough. Oops. Let's check this. No, that's pretty well composted up, isn't it? Yeah, okay. All right, well, let's see if this is enough. If it's not, it's not, and I'll just go get some more bone meal. It'll, it'll just take a little time for the crops to grow. All right, so, oh, soul sand. It's okay, I'm totally remembering things. All the things am I remembering. Um, okay, the question is, do I have any stash somewhere? I don't think I do. Okay. I think I took two of those out. Where did, okay, I needed one further there. Where did I have another one? Um, I mean, there's a bunch up there in the center, but um, all right. Well, hey, we'll just we'll just come up here. We'll rob from the uh, the center portal. That's okay. Yeah, let's see. Um, easy way to get to it. Yeah. Oh, hey, this is. There's more here than I thought there was gonna be. Ah, that's not how it's supposed to work. Okay. So we'll just grab a couple. Of these. Nice. I only thought there was one, one row, but it's three rows. That's perfect. Oh, that is just lovely. Oops, I. How do I get out of here? There we go. Okay. Yes. This is going to be great. But yeah, I am... I have been considering turning the... Uh, turning this into a warden farm. But I don't know that I need the skull catalysts quite that much. So... Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and drop that in there. All right. Whew. Okay. So I think I've got this channel all dug, so I should be able to plant some kelp here. Just plant uh, as much, some up this way as I can. And we'll just hit it with some bone meal. Okay. And I hope I've got enough bone meal. It's because it's a long way to the surface. If not, well, I might have to go up with the rest of the kelp I've got in my inventory and finish off the uh, finish off the vine. But am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? No. <sighs> Maybe I'll wait for some more bone meal and, and use that, because. Swimming up there is going to... I, I'm going to suffocate. So, cool. Well, let's go... We'll just go get some stuff. Yeah, that that's the thing. We'll just go get some more bone meal. Yeah, because where am I? I said, this is minus 53. Up on the surface. Which I should be really close. Uh, I'm not that close. Wow, I've got a long way to go. That's 118. So yeah, that's, geez, another, I mean, almost another stack. All right, well, I think maybe what I'll do is I'll finish that off camera. And, because I'm just going to have to wait for my crops to grow to bone meal that. But hey, we've got, we've got progress happening. So 
I've got new farms coming in. I've got I'm I'm basically moved in at this point. I've I still have some stuff up in the village in those in my starter hut. But I am I'm here. You know, I've got I've got a little house storage. I've got my villagers, I've got farms, I've got trees. This is good. All right. Nice. Well, then, let's just jump over here. And uh, definitely want to thank all of you for being here today. It's This has been fun. It's been fun. I was, it took a little bit longer to go get everything I needed, but, you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. It seemed to work, so, <laughs> well, we'll go with it. And uh, next stream will be Thursday, 6 p.m. Mountain uh, Standard Time. I said I'm a little iffy on Saturday's stream. So I've got I've got to run I've got to I've got to drive to Denver and it's a bit of a drive. I'm gonna be gone all day Friday. So Saturday is I'm hoping I can stream. If not, if I, I won't. But I'll post it in the Discord. I'll let you all know there. So be sure to join the Discord. And of course Subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell and YouTube will let you know if I'm going live as well, right? So we can go with that. But until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off.